Wow, time flies when you're having fun. Sharon Horn Elsom here. What you up to now? Day 1000. I can't even believe it's been a thousand days that I have hopped online and talked about what I'm doing. Just journaled my journey, shared my business journey as I've transitioned from the brick and mortar world, the world of real business, as I like to call it, to annoy my online friends, to the online world. Gone from over a quarter century in corporate America. 47 years running different businesses in different industries, at least 27 different industries uh, over my career, my lifetime. And you know, I had my first business when I was 13, so a long time, long time I've been doing businesses. And I wanted to, I had the opportunity to transition, to go from the offline world to the online world. Uh, as part of my divorce and, and everything, I needed to do something because I was old enough to not want to go back to some of the things I'd done in the past, but too, not old enough to retire, not old enough to be done and, and you know, throw in the towel and be done with my, my life and my participation in, in the world around me. So I decided I was going to explore and figure out how do you do this online stuff. And it's been an interesting journey. Now I'd like to say I've only been doing it for a thousand days, but it's, it's actually been a lot longer than that. And leading up to me doing anything online, of course, there was there was stuff. There was a lot of business experience offline. There was little bits and pieces that I learned that that kept me curious and interested in the online world. But it wasn't until 2017 that I actually decided I was going to do anything online. And, and about eight months later, I'd say I started to. Um, everybody said, "You got to publish. You got to publish. You got to publish. You got to get online." I said, "Okay, well." I don't want to, but I'm going to hop on. And one way I can do that is just to document my journey. Every day I'll just hop on and talk about what I'm doing, what's working, what's not, and use that as my way of, of journaling and keeping track of what I have done and how it turned out, what I haven't done, but I know I need to do, which there's always things like that, right? There's always things that we could do better. There's always lessons we can learn. There's always things that we can and should do. So I should probably go back and see things and say, what are the, the thousand lessons I've learned from a thousand live videos or sharing my journey for a thousand days? You know, what are the top 10 things I've learned over sharing my journey over a thousand days? That, I might do that. I might do that. Uh, I'm obviously thinking, I didn't think of any way to celebrate today. I'm going to find something. I'm going to do something fun and celebrate today. Maybe I'll actually go out to a store since COVID-19. I have spent very little time in physical businesses and locations and stores and I very seldom have actually gone into stores um, and businesses primarily because I have health challenges I've had health challenges I'm super healthy now and I want to keep it that way uh, so I'm not going out of my way to get germs from anybody or anything much less COVID-19 so today we talked about we're doing the soap framework through day 24 of the get up and go challenge today was a for relate and a in the area of relationships remember there's seven key areas of our life physical mental emotional spiritual financial relationships and contribution and i've gone through the soap framework a day at a time a letter at a time to really ingrain it and help people to make it part of their subconscious it's like okay i have this way of dealing with challenges and changes sometimes it works for me sometimes it doesn't and substituting that with a framework and a system that will 100% of the time work and guarantee that the person who's using it will be better off after the change or challenge than before they experience the change or challenge. Even something as monumental as COVID-19. I can say with 100% certainty that if you look at this whole situation and break it down the way we're doing it in the Get Up and Go Challenge and you actually apply the soap framework to the different areas and aspects and decisions and choices you need to make in your life, you will be without a doubt 100% guaranteed better off after COVID-19 than before. And it works for big challenges like COVID-19 or health challenges or little challenges. Um, no matter what you're going through, whatever change, not just challenges, right? We say challenges, but we just mean any change. Good changes can even create stress and drama and trauma for us. Um, people, some people will get married and it creates a huge stressful event for them and a change and challenge. Some people will have a baby, etc. And you need to realize that you can use this framework for both things that we deem positive and things that we deem negative. So today was all about uh, the action part of that. And I actually shared three tools which ended up meaning it was like a 17 minute video and I'm trying, I wanted to originally when I started the 30 day challenge to, to keep them under 10 minutes. I want it to be 100% content, this is what you're learning, 
this is what an example of it and this is how you apply it go out and do it get up go and do this right now try this thing right now and I am looking at my pages and pages of tools that I use that have been so powerful and so beneficial to my life and I'm like I want to share them all well maybe I'll find a different way to share them all so today I shared three and it was way too much it, it's just too much to try to take a lifetime of experience of using different tools on and off and then crunching them into one 10 minute presentation too much so I want to share all those tools and, and maybe I'll create a different way a different format maybe I'll just do uh, a tool a day for a hundred days or you know hundred best tools to create the life you want I don't know something like that uh, but I'm not gonna not gonna share three in a day anymore it's just too much one a day my whole point was share the top 30 tools share one a day and give people a taste of what they can achieve and can do and you know some tools will work for you for you some tools won't work for you and so of the three tools I'm pretty confident one will work for people but if they don't then that's okay too so that was get up and go challenge today and I'm doing it in the area of personal relationship like one-on-one -on -one dating type romantic relationship which for me I gotta tell you something I've been ignoring for a long time and uh, do I need to fix it maybe not if it, if it ain't broken don't fix it well I, but could I be experiencing things and feel better about different areas and aspects of my life were I to go back down that route if that makes sense so I want to go from being totally closed on the option to open about the possibility that's my whole approach to this romantic relationship kind of thing all right that was get up and go challenge fun challenge today was about clouds and and the fun that we see in cloud shape the the, the quote was from Henry David Thoreau and it was about talking to clouds and I don't think I've ever talked to clouds I have to think long and hard about that but I don't think I have but I've definitely uh, enjoyed looking for cloud shapes and looking for shapes and clouds I used to like to do it like if we were on road trips or long drives when I wasn't driving I'd like to watch the clouds and look for cloud shapes to make the time go by faster uh, sometimes you just want to lay down on the ground and look up at the sky and realize how amazing the, the planet is that we live on and and see shapes and clouds and things and so that's what our fun challenge was about today look for cloud shapes now I don't know I haven't really looked to see what the weather's like yet today I think it's gonna be overcast so I might not have any big fluffy clouds to look at but I'll look for them anyway uh, so that was a fun challenge today supersize your business was about getting away with murder and I kind of had fun with that and use vampire teeth because it's kind of it's kind of me and I'm trying to have more fun with life right I'm doing a 365 day fun challenge so I ought to be having more fun in every area and aspect of my life not just in you know the the one minute that it takes to do and share the fun challenge every day so I'm starting to have more fun with my other videos as well so I did vampire teeth on getting away with murder and getting away with murder relatively new expression but it applies to actually all of our lives we maybe have gotten away with something that we knew um, wasn't 100% right and guess what we still always know wherever we go we're still there right wherever I go here I am or I think there's a couple of books about that and you know the truth is we can fool some of the people some of the time heck there's some people we can fool all the time but we can never fool ourselves we always know how we behaved and what we've done and so I say always make sure you're behaving in a way that you feel good about that if, a, if someone were watching because guess what you always are you'd still feel good about that so that was our getting away with murder was the tie-in to business and just for my fun on my profile page today that's what I'm working on reading some books participating in a couple of challenges doing other people's projects and courses and workshops because I'm always learning and growing as I think we all need to be and coming up with my next project I've got a couple of big projects that I really want to do that I've been putting on the back burner and I'm asking myself why am I putting that on the back burner because now is the time to do the things that I've always wanted to do if I can help you anyway hit me up and ask in the comments below otherwise thank you for popping in if you have on any of the thousand days I've been here realize that I will still be showing up I you know whether it's for you or somebody else that needs to see or hear something that I share and say that's what I'm here for is hoping that I can shortcut the process or help somebody feel better about a situation or an experience they're having or about you know taking a journey that was the wrong road for them but then realizing and changing and moving and, and figuring out what was the right path all right have an awesome day I will be with you tomorrow day 1001 of what's she up to now